guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna to show you something that to me seems very simple, but um, someone pointed out the other day that for someone who's never done it or never even thought about doing it, it might be just the little ticket to break through a barrier. And so I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is, it is to do your own ground beef. And you're in control of how much it costs, you're in control of the quality, and you don't have any worries about pink slime or things going in there that shouldn't be in there in the first place. So I hope this inspires you to stay along with me. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy I'm making up burger meat tonight. And you guys, I hope that if it inspires you to stay with me, you give me a thumbs up somewhere along the way. Go visit my Facebook page. Maybe go over to Pinterest and look me up because I'm over there and maybe you can start following me there too. All right guys, as always, let's go see how easy making your own ground beef is. Come on. All right, so this is probably one of the, to me, one of the simplest videos I've done. But for somebody who's never done this, it could be, you know, the thing that gets them to go ahead and try it themselves. So I've got my KitchenAid over here with the meat grinder attachment on it. You can buy a hand meat grinder. A lot, a lot of times you can get them at a garage sale. You can get them at um, online. I mean, there's, I've got an electric one, a hand crank one, and then this KitchenAid. This KitchenAid is just easier for me. Now, this was what the butcher at my local grocery store, not a, you know, not a butcher at a meat market. They, this is what they're calling London broil. And I'm going to trim off most of the excess fat because I really don't want a lot of this connective tissue or fat in here. Um, I can put that, render that down and put that in a different dish. So this particular piece, I got these on sale for um, $2.99 a pound. And this is really good quality beef, uh, no hormones, no um, antibiotics ever. Yeah. So get that piece of sinew off of there. And this piece is probably thin enough to go down in the grinder. So <clears throat> this is the way I do all my venison when I make ground venison too. I, um, and I started grinding a lot of my own ground beef just because I don't want added fat and like this sinew and stuff like that. It just doesn't need to be in there. And um, this will give you more of a steak flavor than um, if you didn't, you know, if you just have the scraps. I mean, I'm getting a really nice cut of meat here in my ground beef. So, cutting off the sinew. It, the sinew, actually, it's that all silver right, skin. All right, so I've got the meat all trimmed up, and now I'm going to go ahead. I've got, I've got some meat in the hopper right now. I'm going to lock my KitchenAid in place, and you're going to start this process. Super easy, and it's really quick. I mean, this is how quick it is. I'm just putting that meat down in there, and let it do its thing. This is great for Salisbury steak, or if you're gonna do, um, your own canned ground beef, this would be a very healthy way to do it. And it's just that simple, I'm all done. And all I have to do is take this apart. It's very easy to take apart. And just a few things to wash. Let me see, show you how easy it is. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna put this ground beef over here. I'll show you how I take, you take this outside ring off and you've got, you've got to loosen this over here and you just kind of wiggle it loose and the insides come apart and it goes in the sink. You want to make sure that whenever you're dealing with meat and that kind of thing, that you are using uh, a bleach solution to clean up. So everything will get wiped down. The counters will get wiped down. The mixer, everything will get wiped back down with a bleach solution. Let me show you what the end product is. Guys, isn't that beautiful? 
home ground ground beef. And it's ready to make burgers, it's ready for chili, spaghetti, whatever you want to do with it. And that's about almost a pound of ground beef that I know it's healthy, it's lean, it's the right cut of meat that I wanted and I didn't have to add a bunch of garbage in there. All right guys, I hope it inspires you to come back and see me next time. Maybe go over and visit my Facebook page, go over to Pinterest and visit me there. And uh, as always, I hope that you have a wonderful day. All right guys, God bless.